have you ever had someone in your life that you cut out for a particular reason and for years you don't hear from them until on a random happenstance they come back into your life and you want them to stay in your life? In Jane Austen's Persuasion, this exact situation happens to the main character, Anne Clay. The story tells of the Clay family having to leave their home because of loss of money and having to rent out their new home to a family that they know very well and are acquainted with the main character's ex-lover, who she was engaged to eight years prior. Anne is still very much in love with this man and the only reason she broke off the engagement with him was because a friend of hers had told her that he was not good enough for her. So she still believed that there could be a chance for the both of them to wind up together again. Jane Austen's themes of love and relationships play well into this story, like many of her others, as they tell about how love can be very surprising at times and can leave you wondering and sometimes leave you hanging. This novel is very similar to her others as was written in the same time period as her other novels and is for the same reason still very difficult for casual readers to read. Many of the themes that Jane Austen continues to use in her other novels are played in this novel so there's not much of a difference between Pride and Prejudice and Persuasion other than the actual storyline. There's really not much I can say as far as the writing style and how it is different from one book to the next because it is a very similar writing style. The only difference really is the plot lines and it's so it's very hard for me to be able to give a full in-depth book review when many of Jane Austen's novels are very similar to each other. Much of my comments are very much similar to Sense and Sensibilities book review where I liked a lot of the writing and I really enjoyed the fact that many of the themes in these novels contributed to today's society as well as society in the past. So there's really not much for me to say about these books and how they're very different because they all have the same kind of situation going on. But regardless, thank you guys for joining me in these book reviews from Jane Austen's novels. I hope I'll get to read more in the future if there are more. I'm not really sure if there are. But the next book that I will be reading is going to be the first book in the Blue Blood series by Melissa Dela Cruz. Now this was a series I had heard about when I was younger, about middle school, but I never really got into it. So I'm very excited to see this because I think it's supposed to be about vampires um, and I'm a very much a vampire kind of girl so and I didn't want to make this video too too long because I am still on vacation which is why I'm talking a little bit quieter because I'm actually um, in I'm like right near my cousin's rooms so I didn't want to be too loud but um, yeah so the next book review will be up for you guys when I'm back home and uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owlette in our vlog. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.